Okay, so I assume most of you who clicked on this video are probably thinking, what the heck is Joe talking about? Of course, Wi-Fi is not harmful. And yes, I know most of you know that, but I wanted to explain this if any of you had even the slightest doubt, well, maybe long exposure, high energies, blah, 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 maybe Wi-Fi is harmful. I'm gonna explain why it's not. You don't have anything to worry about. I've seen a lot of videos about just lots of woo-woo stuff you know, talking about how, oh, you gotta get rid of all the routers in your house because Wi-Fi is harmful and it's radiation. All that's BS, so let me try and explain that relatively quickly. It seems like most of the people who try to spew this type of BS always go back to say, oh, well, Wi-Fi is harmless because it's such high energy. Gigahertz, wow, look at that gigahertz. Sounds like a really strong, harsh word, doesn't it? Yeah, gigahertz, that's a billion times a second. The Wi-Fi radiation is fluctuating and that's going right through your body and harming you. It sounds plausible before you think about it for two seconds. So let me just completely destroy that argument. If you're saying that Wi-Fi is dangerous because it's so high energy and you say, oh, well, gigahertz, that's a billion times a second. Wow, that sounds like really high energy. Then why aren't you worried about regular light? Because regular light has a frequency on the order of terahertz. Regular light literally has an energy thousands of times higher than Wi-Fi radiation. Not to mention that your Wi-Fi router has such a low power antenna, maybe like 0.1 watts. Whereas if you look at a regular LED light bulb, even if it's one watt, then that means your LED light bulb is emitting higher energy radiation, because light is radiation, but you don't worry about your LED light bulb but you're gonna worry about your router, it's just total nonsense. And the second reason that it's not harmful if you even need a second reason is that Wi-Fi, just like regular light, like other radio waves, is non-ionizing radiation. What does that mean? Ionizing radiation, which starts in the ultraviolet spectrum and goes up in energy levels like X-ray and other shorter wavelengths all the way up to gamma rays, that type of radiation is called ionizing radiation because it has enough energy to knock an electron off the atom, causing it to have a net charge. It turns it into an ion. Now, non-ionizing radiation, on the other hand, which is visible light all the way down, does not have enough energy to knock an electron off the atom and cause it to ionize and get a charge. So it can't interact with your bodies or anything else in any meaningful way. The only exception is that non-ionizing radiation can heat up objects it shines on. So that's why if you shine a really light light bulb, the visible light and then the infrared light mostly heats up that object and that's the only thing it can do to it. It's not, you know, dismantling it or putting off radiation like you think about it, alpha particles, beta particles. It's not doing anything like that. It's just heating it up. And that's how microwaves work. They are vibrating the atoms at a certain frequency. And that frequency is chosen because that is the frequency that water molecules will vibrate at and heat up even more. So I've seen a lot of people say, oh, microwaves, you know, radiation, it, it, it's not safe to eat because it puts radiation into the food. No, it's not. It's just heating it up in a way that you're not familiar with so you don't understand what's going on. I made another video about how microwaves work. You can watch that if you want, but it's all safe. It's just heating it up like you put it under a stove or something like that. So as a quick recap, the reason Wi-Fi is not harmful, if you ever thought it was, is because it's such a low energy. I mean, you think about regular light, you don't think of regular light at terahertz as being high energy radiation, and yet you're worried about Wi-Fi. And on the second part, just like regular light, it's non-ionizing, so even if it is for some reason using a huge antenna or something, it's not gonna do anything to you anyway. So the only type of radiation you have to worry about is the ionizing stuff, which is ultraviolet light and up. Can start causing sunburn, that's because it's ionizing, it can actually mess with your skin, and then everything up there like x-rays, all that is actual radiation in the way that most people think about it. So hopefully I was able to quickly explain that, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it, and let me know in the comments section what you thought. If you want to continue watching, I've got some other videos on the right hand side, like that microwave video I talked about. You can just click on those annotations or look in the description for the same link, like if you're on a phone. And if you want to subscribe, I make new videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so I think you'll enjoy that. Looking forward to hearing from you guys, either here on YouTube or on Twitter. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.